Hi, and this will be the last part about what's new in GIMP 2.8. Also, I'm going to upload at the same time with this tutorial a video where I will do a review on GIMP 2.8 and uh, after that I'll continue with the beginner's guide and my other tutorials on GIMP. Now I'm not going to cover absolutely everything in this tutorials about what's new in GIMP 2.8 so you can go to GIMP.org and uh, read the release notes to get the full list of changes and new features if you're interested in that. A lot of them are probably not going to be interested for the most users. So let's get started. A lot of you probably noticed these new sliders here that are giving a lot of people including myself a hard time to work with to gain control. You need to get this uh, step, value step, if you see this right now, to be able to actually control this. And sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And if you don't get it, you get this one. And moving, it's really hard, as you can see. And uh, GIMP developers said that they're going to fix this in the next version. So looking forward to that. By the way, I'm using GIMP 2.8.2 which is an update released a while ago with some bug fixes. Also a useful thing as you can see here is this um, ability to reset options individually. So I can reset only this one before in 2.6 you can only reset the entire tools options or the all of the tools options. Now we can reset only a certain setting like size for example which is a really nice improvement. Now next thing, layer modes. You can go here and see that the layer modes now are being regrouped according to how they affect the image. Those that make it lighter or darker are in different groups now. This is also a nice improvement. Another thing you can do now is hold down the Alt key and click on a layer to get selection from it. I don't know if you can see this the marching ants that indicate a selection. You can also use the shift control key and shift control key to add, subtract, or um, intersect the selection. Also, another useful feature is that you can now close the uh, toolbox without closing the entire application in 2.6. If you remember, when you close the toolbox, the entire game uh, closed too. But to be able to do that, you need to be to turn this single window mode off and then um, let me show you something I'm going to turn this off now and I can close this and here from Windows I can now get a new toolbox or I can get here toolbox tools options and get it again here also they added the option here to hide the docs uh, before it was only the tab key, now you can use this option here too to hide them or use the tab key to unhide them. Another useful feature is the ability to now group brushes or other parents here. Um, to do that, first you need to create a new brush in the brush editor or you can create a custom brush. I have videos about that. Let's just create really quickly new brush here something like this and then you can go here enter tags for example random or just enter this click enter and now if you go here to the filter and you can select random and this brush will be here so you can group your brushes you can create a lot of brushes uh, enter tags here and find them easily so that's it for this tutorial and like I said I didn't cover everything all the changes and new features in these tutorials about that but uh, you can go to GIMP.org release notes and read more about it Bye for now.